always better when I put my microphone on. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Yeah, surprise. I, I couldn't see the entirety of the chat, but I saw the words I forgot, and I was like, that's, that's going to be Zebsy, and I was right, and I'm glad that I could keep you on your toes today. I hope everyone's having a wonderful time. I know Dex is going on work lurk. Best of luck to you, Dermo. Welcome on in. Oigu, assemble. He's already assembled and scattered. Oh my goodness. The intro finally works again. Yeah. Do you want to know what I did to fix it? No nothing. Nothing. I just turned on OBS and all of a sudden all the music is working. I don't know what happened last time where it wasn't. <laughs> I'm trying to think of if maybe I, I unplugged my hard drive from my PC because that has a lot of like music and, and photos and stuff on there for OBS that I don't know if I've brought all of it over to the main PC drive, but um, yeah, maybe I just plugged it in and it, it registered. I don't know. what. I just stopped the music. Zebzy, I knew it. <laughs> You're the mastermind behind all of this. I hope everyone's having a lovely time. I know I'm surprising you guys at the Tuesday uh, stream. That's because Wednesday I am flying to Rotterdam. Da -na -na -na. Work lurking is interesting today. Updated a tool to be more strict, and it finds lots of small errors we made. Blessing in disguise. It takes more time than expected. Oh, well, that's cool. At least you have a troubleshooting method. That's important. I'm fiddling with a zip tie because I zip tied the cord to my microphone because I remembered that zip ties exist and that I also have them. So maybe that'll stop me from rolling over my wires all the time. Well, I was playing some video games with my uh, Canadian crew on the weekend. And I kept getting the, the headphone cable like wrapped around the wheels of the chair, so I couldn't even just roll off of it. I had to like take my headphones off and, you know, play a twister game to get them fixed. So, <sighs> you'll be in Rotterdam. Yeah. Well, I'm flying in. I'm flying in the evening, so I'm actually flying into Amsterdam. I'm staying overnight there, and then I'm going to Rotterdam first thing thursday morning no yes wednesday going land in the night yeah then i leave thursday well I'll, I'll, probably not first thing i'll probably sleep in a little bit <laughs> maybe even check out a little bit of amsterdam before i pop over to rotterdam if i have the whole day so the most canadian of them all oh no <laughs> stepsy come over and hang out with us i'm sure they have basements there you can lurk in So my room's a little bit of chaos trying to finish finish packing. I need to double check the weather, but I think it's we're pretty lucky. I think it's like 24 to 27 degrees the whole way through. It's sunny. I may not have to pack an umbrella, so I like that. Still got two intense days of work with TorchCon will make the weekend all the more worth it. Yes, yes, there's something nothing better than than running in and getting all your work done and you're like, "Okay, it's party time. It's vacation time." It feels even more even more earned. Oh, quarterly planning meetings, brutal. I, uh, yeah, I woke up to an uh, email that I missed on Friday asking for an Excel sheet and I'm like, ah, <laughs> I'm doing an Excel sheet this morning before I go on with the rest of my work because I, I, I didn't realize they were talking to me. Ah, uh, she show up and you'll just have me in the basement. The basement's scary, okay? The, ba the basement of my apartment complex is very spooky. I went down there once with the landlords when they were showing me around the building before I bought the apartment, or rented the apartment. <laughs> we should buy an apartment. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's it's spooky. A lot of the Vienna basements are very scary. It's like dirt floors. You're, um, like, because in Canada, the, 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 apartment basements are like cement and then they have chain link fences normally if you have storage compartments not in vienna vienna is like a, a renaissance torture chamber you go down it's it's like all dungeony and you, the, there's uh, like square rooms with a tiny little window with bars on it and that's where you keep your stuff very spooky i don't have one of those this time but i had one in the third district where i used to live and uh very very scary work lurking on it Tuesday, Lucifer, welcome on in. <laughs> it's 25 to 30 degrees until Thursday. Ooh, okay. All right. Cooling down on Friday with some showers. Okay. I will definitely, I, I am bringing like a plaid shirt because I don't really want to pack a jacket. So I'm just going to pack like a long sleeve, uh, comfy shirt that I can throw over whatever I'm wearing in case it gets chilly. But 
otherwise I think I got I got summer clothes and I got an iron tonight <laughs> really exciting stuff buying apartments I know uh, well it's actually like an achievable long-term goal to buy an apartment in Vienna because they're not insanity so maybe one day one magical day I will be a homeowner uh, actually one of my friends just confirmed that she has has uh bought a house and i'm so freaking proud of her she's the only person in my generation that i know who is now a homeowner and i could not be more proud of her she has not yet sent me the deets though you went there once to put zebzi in yeah yes <laughs> stones and torches yeah insidious welcome on in bring bring an umbrella never absolutely not okay i might i might maybe <laughs> I might. I'll just be fast. I'll just outrun the rain. Oh, AJ. Oh, AJ, did you change your name? Hey. Oh, come on in. Get back to working. Yes, sir, you got it. I'll be on my best behavior, I kind of promise. I'm offline. My anxiety and so on—it's been rough. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. I'm glad you're back and joining us, though. We will—we'll be very chill stream today. I feel like. <laughs> Hopefully, Dex Dex has pressed X to doubt, and I don't blame him for that. Yeah, we'll just hang out. I'll start putting some stuff on the list. I can't be like super long today. I can't do like a three-hour stream or something crazy because uh, I got to be in the studio afterwards. I told my producer I would meet up with him, and. This was kind of the only time that we both had before I left, so we are going to do that. For those of you who haven't heard, Midas is coming out on July 1st, um, so hell yeah. And then the second single, the one that I'm working on probably today, is very close behind it. We're just polishing off the last couple things and getting the mix just the way we want it, um, and then we'll send it off to mastering. So. It's gonna be. I think July is gonna be a double whammy. If I could get both, uh, both singles out in July, that'd be really cool. Is a telephone? Nay. Telephone's on standby because I just don't think it's a very strong song right now. We might be working on it today, actually, but I don't know what the details are gonna be like. I know. It's just. It's. It's got like. It's got good bone structure. It's got. It's the good foundations there, but. I just don't know what I want to do with it. And honestly, I'd rather write something new because I've been working on some new stuff. So I think that would probably be better. And better for me as well, because a lot of these songs that I'm, I'm releasing, I wrote for other people and other singers. So when I'm singing them, it's a struggle bus. It'd be nice to write something that kind of fits my voice a little bit more. Telephone's really bad in that regard. It is not made for me. <laughs> Just do it acoustic with X and send it personally to me. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't be against that actually. Maybe I could post like an acoustic version on Bandcamp or something. That'd be cool. Oh, and and, and with Midas, the uh, the official version is already released on the members channel. So the members have heard it, um, and then that same version is what's going to be on Spotify. It's the least I could do. <laughs> Get them some early access stuff. Alright, let's try it out. I was Cleopatra, I was young and an actress. When you knelt by my mattress and asked for my hand But I was sad, you asked it As I laid in a black dress With my father in a casket, I had no plans And I left the footprints, the mud stained on the carpet and it hardened like my heart did when you left town But I must admit it I would marry you in an instant Damn your wife 
be your mistress just to have you around But I was late for this, late for that Late for love of my life And when I die alone, when I die alone When I die, I'll be on time And while the church discouraged And he lost the burn within me Yes, my flesh, it was my currency, but I held true. And so I drive a taxi, and the traffic distracts me from the strangers in my backseat that remind me of you. But I was late for this, late for that, late for the love of my life. And when I die alone, when I die alone, when I die, I'll be on time. The only gifts from my Lord were a birth and a divorce. But I've read this script and the costume fits, so I'll play my part. I was Cleopatra, I was taller than the rafters, but that's all in the past now and gone with the wind. Now a nurse in white shoes. Leads me back to my guest room It's a bed and a bathroom And a place for the end I won't be late for this Late for that Late for the love of my life And when I die alone When I die alone When I die I'll be on time Oh And he was just say it's a demo song before official release. That would work. That would work, I suppose. Hold on. This is hitting the guitar. Yes. Oh my gosh. Do I have a system? Do I have a cable management system? Not like Dex, but close enough. Drink water, maybe. <laughs> Do you just wake up? No, I didn't. But I. Uh, I haven't talked very much today because I just woke up and got to work, basically. Ugh. Why have I done this to myself? I'm like a dog with a leash that doesn't know how to how to handle it. Come here, buddy. Nice. <laughs> Can someone say cable management? I might get to the point where cable management is a hobby. <laughs> you have to teach me your ways, Dex. You gotta teach me your cable origami ways. I'll be on time. I think I might have some revoice tablets around. That might help that raspiness. Either that or today is going to be like a Janis Joplin cover kind of day. To be fair, I did that before I made everything clean and secure, but forgot I was one chaotic guy and just pulled everything around when I move. <laughs> That's true. It's true. I like my, my setup for stream is very particular, but if I'm playing games of friends or if I'm working a lot, I'll move this keyboard out of the way and then I just shift everything around. And if I'm doing... Um, recordings or I'm working in logic that I change all the stuff on the interface so it's constantly a bit of a moving system. Nella, hey welcome on in and sister scone good morning to you I hope you're having a wonderful I was gonna say start to the week but semi start to the week um that's the reason I started doing it you don't pull things around as much so that that's a real skill is like cable management and then long-term cable management Oh no, broke some speakers by getting my foot caught in the cable, the speaker cable. Ah, ha, ha. My headphone hits the floor many times during the week and it hasn't broken on me yet. I'm very happy about that. The amount of times I put my headphones down and I hear them crash behind me and I'm like, no, not like this. Sorry, we get yesterday off. Oh, well then happy, happy Monday to you. Happy start of your week. What am I doing? I'm looking for a revoice tablet. Hold on, I'll be right back. I think I normally have them. Oh man, it's been a while. Uh, aha. 
I got I got like a half of one. That'll do. Snack Sparrow Yellow. Cat proof cable management? Oh man. Yeah, when I used to have rats, I uh I know the feeling. <laughs> Everything had little tiny teeth marks in it, especially my wires. You just hiss at them though, you just give them a little like tss, and they're like, oh, okay, I won't do that. That's what I did. It kind of sounds like a spray bottle or something. I think it startles them. And they stop chewing your stuff. And by stop, I mean they pretend they learned a lesson for three seconds, and as soon as your back is turned, they start chewing things again. <laughs> PC over when I was in college. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> you just pull everything to you. Oh gosh. De <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm glad it stayed relatively purple. I wanted it to stay purple for TwitchCon, and then afterwards, I'll, I'll let it fade out and I won't like re retouch it or anything. Um, but it's, it did a good job. I'll definitely, if I ever dye my hair again, I'll go back to that hairdresser because she really, she really nailed it on the recolor. <laughs> Captain, welcome on in. Other, other Cap, Cap, Cap Platonic. Fade outs are so 80s. I, I was kind of surprised by how much I liked it. Like I did prefer the darker color, obviously, but when it faded out, I'm like, oh, it's kind of got this grunge punk, you know, makes me want to wear a lot of, uh, a lot of eyeliner and just go... Yeah, 80s punk. When's the orange hair? I don't know how I look with orange hair. I'm not sure you guys can. <laughs> There's been some great um, hair adaptations in the Discord from you guys. I know. The good thing about having like half and half underneath is that when this grows out, it's not going to look so bad because it's not going to have. I don't like like all the roots and stuff when it grows out. So this way, the roots are going to be hidden. I already have like an inch or two of brown hair coming back in, but you can hide it. Pretty fancy. Um, yeah, I am bringing like my own ahead towel in in my suitcase though, because I'm really afraid I'm gonna dye the towels purple or something and have to pay additional fees <laughs> for damages. So <laughs> I'm bringing my own hair towel. Captain Sunbeam, welcome on in. Curious at the name, at the lamp name, you mean? We're just all little lamps over here. We're doing Viva La Vida. Heckin' yeah. Da -da -da. I need to I need to make a command for the username because there's no like short way to explain it. <laughs> I don't know. I gotta like condense it into a footnotes version. Not a bridge. I know. It's a rare one. Explain. 
shattered windows and the sound of drums. The people couldn't believe what I've become. Revolutionaries wait for my head on a silver plate, just a puppet on a lonely string. Oh, who would ever want to be king? I hear Jerusalem bells are ringing, Roman Catholic choirs are singing. Be my mirror, my sword, my shield, missionaries in a foreign field. For some reason I can't explain, I know St. Peter will call my name, never an honest word, but that was what I made it through. <laughs> yeah, I'm sounding extra hoarse today. But at least I'm not getting the voice cracks. The voice cracks annoy me because then you, it's like so easy to fall off a pitch. So I can I can handle the, the small pony. Thanks for requesting it, Ally. That song's really fun. <laughs> That's a fun song to play. Extra horse, two horse, four horse, entire stable. What can I say? I got a lot of voice power. A lot of voice power, a lot of horsepower. <laughs> that translates to voice power. What kind of fake Pyrex is that? <laughs> I couldn't find my Pyrex cup this morning. I think it's in the sink somewhere. This is my Christmas mug from uh, my mom. It's a little sloth. She got it when she was visiting Tans in, uh, Tasmania. I was, I was gonna say Tanzania, uh, Tasmania, <laughs> I think. And it's very adorable. I know. It also love. It's massive. She she got it for me, and she's like, so I know, this could more easily be a soup bowl than a mug, but it was so cute, I couldn't pass it up. So, I was like, heck yeah, because I love sloths. They, they're one of my favorite animals as a kid. Was a sloth. Now it's now it's probably a fox or something like that. But I still hold a special place in my heart for sloths. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I thought it'd be good a good Pyrex substitute because it's like double the size of a regular mug But I'm already almost out of water because uh, Yeah, so it's doesn't quite match the Pyrex size, but it's pretty close Charlie <laughs> You hold up I was so busy teaching my mom Mario Kart. <gasps> yeah Oh my gosh, why are you here? Why are you not playing Mario Kart with your mom right now? That sounds amazing. I want to play Mario Kart with my mom. What the heck? My mom gets really uh, motion sick with video games. She's never been able to play video games with me or anything. Chill, welcome on in, sloths. <laughs> They're just so cute. They're so cute and it's really hard to lose track of one because, yeah, they don't go anywhere. <laughs> Very consistent results. 12th place. Heck yeah. Are you playing it Playing it on... Which console are you playing it on? Like a Wii or something? I think the first version of Mario Kart I got was on the DS. Oh, Switch. Oh yeah, I forgot the Switch existed. That makes way more sense. Because no one really uses a Wii anymore, but still. My mom panics at Candy Crush. Don't think she'll play Mario Kart. <laughs> oh man. Igor, welcome on in. Happy... Happy... Tuesday to you. Happy Tunes Day. And QQ, thank you very much for the follow. Are the separated controllers 
suck oh like the little half ones yeah I, I've, st- I've never tried the little steering wheel you can get for the switch but normally when I yeah I don't, I don't really like the half controllers for the switch I'd rather like put them into the little um what do you call it like the little controller you put both sides of the switch on and then you have a little full t- full controller you know what I mean uh, plus I find the buttons on the top don't like they aren't as sensitive so the amount of times I'm playing Super Smash with my friends or something and uh, it, it just doesn't like I miss a combo because of the little like hard buttons on top of the con- of the switch drives me crazy don't know if she's into Baldur's Gate has she met the characters yeah you might have a heart attack <laughs> you gotta get her like a mom mod or something so th- <laughs> so she can handle it They're super light. The Switch, yeah. That's what about Pokemons. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I don't have enough friends to play uh to play Super Smash Bros. with anymore to to buy Pro Cons. But if I did, <laughs> you bet I would. They're all in Canada. All my gaming friends are in Canada or online other parts of the world. I don't have very many gaming friends in Austria. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's some songs on here that I haven't transferred over to my main list from my live gig set. And I thought it'd be good to update that, but, but here we are. Hold on, actually this one is in the song list. We could be gaming friends, but you play single person hours. <laughs> That's true. Actually, most of the time, I need like a, I need like two to three working business days to get together with people. I need to be ready for it. Otherwise, like if it's the end of the day, I I normally just like to play alone for a couple hours and then go to bed. That's kind of my way to unwind from the day, and I don't really want to be social. So normally I save it for the weekend. And then I'm like, okay, I know I'm going to hang out with friends. It's going to be really exciting on the weekend. I release my Switch. I play one season of NBA and stop. Uh, oh, Animal Crossing. I've never played Animal Crossing. But I've, I've, I, saw, I saw all the social media attached to Animal Crossing. Just make sure it's in fact Tuesday. It is in fact Tuesday. It is. It is Toons Day today. Not Twiz Day, it is Tunes Day. Mark out my mom for 27 hours. <laughs> as you should, as is right. Kitty Blap, hello. I will hydrate in your honor. I see you leave you alone. Oh, thanks, Captain. <laughs> what have I been pl- what have I been playing recently? Oh, I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy. That's been my go-to. Cause it's so flippin' pretty. So I'm just just run around, sm- smiting people with my wand. I was the mafia boss in my area. Villager trading and turnip scams. That sounds incredible. Let's go with this. Annie Tolkien, welcome on in. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, I've been having some connection troubles with my Xbox controller though. Driving me crazy. But it's like brand new. I really don't think it's the controller's fault. I think it's just like the PCs have trouble connecting with it. Just lurking, but I hope you have a fantastic day. Oh, thank you. Have a wonderful rest of your lurk. PS4 controller. Oh, this is actually my first time owning an Xbox controller. I don't remember the last one I had, but it was, I don't want to say it was off brand. I think it was a certain brand. But it was like a regular plug-in cable controller. And that worked well. I mean, it works like a charm if it's plugged in. It's just that I don't have a really long USB cable going from my PC to my Xbox. And also, I like keeping my hard drive plugged in, which takes up the only USB-C slot. So, kind of kind of sucks. Because I have my, my uh, bigger games on the hard drive, just to help save space. I guess I could put in a, a USB port because there are a lot of uh, USB 
spots, just not a whole lot of USB-C spots. I do have some adapters. It's a good idea, actually. I didn't even think of adapters. It's so goofy. Uh, hold on. This might be a guitar song. I'll go back. Searching for a trail to follow again. Take me back to the night we met, and then I can tell myself what the hell I'm supposed to do, and then I can tell myself not to ride along with you I had all and then most of you some and now none of you take me back to the night we met I don't know supposed to do haunted by the ghost of you take me back to the night we met when the night was full of terror and your eyes were filled with tears when you had not touch me yet Take me back to the night we met I had all and then most of you Some and now none of you Take me back to the night we met I don't know supposed to do haunted by the ghost of you take me back to the night we met I think my guitar was out of tune probably you have a USB hub plugged into a USB hub? <laughs> oh no. That's horrifying. Yeah, voice beam. It's weird. I feel like my voice is, is like rusty, if that makes sense, even though I've still been singing twice a week. But yesterday, when we had choir rehearsal, I, sometimes you can go up for like individual lessons. And um, I ended up doing a lesson. And I was like, look, I'm kind of tired and I don't know what my voice is going to do today. And it was no problem. And I was able to do Ake Fools from Mozart's The Magic Flute, which is normally a really high piece for me. And it didn't feel high at all. And so I was like, that's really weird. And then, then today it's like kind of gone off again. I'm just having a hard time judging what my voice is up to because I really didn't think I was going to be able to sing that yesterday. You can do it. I did that, wonder why my stream deck kept falling. Oh, failing regularly, turns out around a USB power. Oh, <laughs> that's a thing? I don't have a, oh wait, I do have a stream deck. The amount of times I get Steam Deck and Stream Deck confused in my head is way too many times. It ran out of USB power. What the heck's a thing that can happen? I guess, yeah, if you have like too many extensions, then it weakens the connection. I don't know if it's me, but it's no be horse. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right, it is. I'm also gonna need to get more water. I won't I won't do a break, I'll just go refill it real quick. Eee. 
I don't really know how to fix it though. Cause it's not like an allergy horse, it's just, I don't know, I don't think it's, meh. Might just be a Tuesday. Might get better as we go along. You got rear-ended today, Charlie? What the heck? Are you suing? Light tap, I felt a lot stronger. <laughs> Do you have a ding on your car? Oh no. Oh god. Pyrex would never let me down like this. Carpet, thank you very much for the follow. Not even a dent, but I don't think that there's definitely paint from the other car. Oh man. Osram Russian just got his phone number. Pyrex would never rear end your car. That's right. Shark attack, happy Tuesday. Nice to see you. God dang, well at least it's just a, just a little like I I prefer paint than than a dent, of course. And that your neck is also safe. That's the thing with the whiplash. That also means you must have a very hardy car. Let's get personal. Do you snore? <laughs> Why don't my CPAP mask my throat's really dry in the morning so I can't sing? Oh, I don't know if I snore or not. I haven't had very many complaints. Even though I have I have woken up like when I'm I'm traveling. You know, like if you're traveling for a long time, you have really long flights. Sometimes I wake myself up like, oh man, my mouth is open, I was probably snoring. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I, I don't think so. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're just trying to say hi with their car, you know, like you do. <laughs> I know it does take my voice a long time to warm up though in the mornings um it's normally like if i have my choice i normally book streams a little later in the day i normally book vocal lessons later in the day and stuff like that and because i i live alone and i don't have anyone to talk to in the mornings there, there could be times i don't actually start talking until maybe 1 or 2 p.m i would i try to make an effort if i know i'm you know, if I'm I have an, I'm, going, I'm going to a lesson or something, or there's a concert, I'll try to make an effort to use my voice more. But I just take a while. I kind of start off the day as an alto, and it just changes as it goes on. <laughs> it's finding the Denny's parking lot. That's <laughs> Sister Scone has learned learned well. Oh, we're doing time in a bottle. Uh, time in a bottle. Um, I haven't done this one in quite a while. Talking, what is that? I know. See, pointing out I'm very hoarse and then giving me one of my hardest songs to sing. How dare you? <laughs> okay, try this key thing. Never seems to be enough time. That's gonna be quite. That's gonna be quite low. Let's try this. Treasure and then again I would 
spend them with you But there never seems to be enough time To do the things you wanna do once you find them I've looked around enough to know That you're the one I wanna go through time with Something like that. Those chords were a little tricky. <laughs> uh, yeah, Annie, sorry about the, the little rustiness on that, but thanks for requesting that song because it is one of my favorite Jim Crow songs. What's inactive? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a beast, that song. It's really hard to do. Um, the the Jar Hearts one, not, not the Jim Crow's one. You are legally required to turn into Quicksilver whenever you sing this song. Oh man, <laughs> that's, that's a lot of pressure. I love the descending. Welcome on in. Uh, do you play Remember Me? I do have Remember Me from Coco on my list. You're more than welcome to uh, to request it. When has the law ever stopped lamp? <laughs> if they give me enough enough motivation, they can slow me in my tracks. Eraserhead. I can't remember if original is played on guitar or piano. I believe it's on guitar. I think all the Jim Crow songs are on, on the guitar. But he has this really lovely picking that I can't do, so I just kind of play with it on, on piano instead. It's a lovely one. Da 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 da. Are we putting "Remember Me" on the list? Let's do it. If I can get my iPad to work. Ah, oh, you are. You're very welcome. Let me sort the... Is it on there? Yeah, it's on there. Um, which instrument do I want to do? Uh, G minor. Yeah, no. Yeah, it goes with my voice today. <laughs> I love it when it's adventure every time. Remember me, though I have to say goodbye. Remember me, don't let it make you cry. For even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you.
so proud of today. I'd love to try and figure out the melody for that though, just for a piano solo version. such a cute song that song makes my friend cry every single time i wonder like to this day years later if i played remember me by coco he'd be like ah <laughs> oh we're doing still alive heck yeah the chords are actually really fun on this on this coco song Sorry, I can move on now. Sometimes I need to nerd out over chord progressions because I really enjoy them. Um, portal? If I just put portal, does it recognize it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> These points of data make a beautiful line. We're out of bed, we're releasing on time. So fun. Speaking of gaming, when I get back from from traveling around, um, I'm thinking of doing three streams a week. Two are going to be music streams and one's going to be a gaming stream um, on the other street lamp. <laughs> Not to be confused with the only street lamp. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do for the summer since I'm not going to be in classes. So. I just need to figure out what day is because I like having at least one day on the weekend where I'm not live, just for myself, but people have more time to game on the weekends. So it'd be, it'd be dumb to do like a, a gaming stream on Monday, because then if you guys want to join me, then you know you guys might be able to uh, stay up as late or stuff like that. So I'll have to see. Maybe we'll do some polls. Everyone seems to like polls. So not confused with only lamps. Yeah, only lamps is a different thing entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Staker, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I was thinking about that. Yeah, because it's, it's always nice to have, like, not have back-to-back -back streams, do, like, one and then a break and then one. Um, yeah, but I really like having the music stream on Saturday because that's been really busy. A lot of been, people have been able to come by and, and hang out for Saturday streams. So I want to keep the Saturday. I don't think there's any other thing going on in the... Weekend. Also, sometimes I work on Fridays. Sometimes I pick up shifts at the restaurant on Fridays. So it'd be good to keep the Fridays free. But if we did like Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, that could be cool. I'm always free. Don't worry. Okay, good. <laughs> I'll have you down. <laughs> have you on the list. <laughs> was a triumph I'm making a note here huge success it's hard to overstate my satisfaction aperture science we do what we must because we can and for the good of all of us except for those who are dead but there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done and you make a neat gun For the people who are still alive Oh, the song involves me breathe Tore me to pieces and threw every piece. 
so happy for you yeah these points of data make a beautiful line and we're out of beta we're releasing on time i'm so glad i got burned think of all the things we learned for the people who are still alive go ahead and leave me i think i prefer to stay inside but maybe you'll find someone a joke, haha, ha, fat chance. Anyways, this cake is great, it's so delicious and moist. Look at me still talking when the science to do. When I look out there, it makes me glad I'm not you. I've experiments to run, there is research to be done on the people who are still alive. And believe me, I am still alive. I'm doing science and I'm still and I'm still alive And when you're dead I will be still alive Still alive Still alive <laughs> Says you know <laughs> Sebsy, what have you done? Okay, what happened to the, the poll channel? <laughs> anxious <laughs> anxious insomniac nice to see you what even was the poll do you like polls <laughs> all but this one. <laughs> oh my gosh i see i see every time for those of you who have just come in every time we do a poll on discord it just is the most chaos that could ever be in the channel and uh, i love it i love it so much Well, thanks for requesting it, uh, Igor. This isn't this is always, a, always a fun time. Whoever I message I bonked, I apologize. Oh, it's Annie Gaming. Don't worry, Annie. You're good. You're good still. <laughs> Do you like polls, poll? Oh, no, Charlie. <laughs> Would you like a new poll? <laughs> Dex over here is supposed to be working. He's like, hmm, we're gonna make a poll. <laughs> Just don't let your boss know. I broke my alert because of the poll. Oh no! <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> if you haven't like said anything in chat, even if I if I say hi, you don't have to come in if you if you don't want to or are unable to. Don't let me pressure you. Wait, I'm I'm I I am supposed to be. I was supposed. Oh, I could not read that. I'm supposed to work at work. Well, that's up to you. <laughs> I want to vote on this poll. <laughs> nice. Glad I can. Glad I can do that. My Twitch couldn't keep up with how fast your votes went. Are you on mobile? We're just that speedy. We're just that good. We just have a lot of dedication and accuracy when it comes to polls. Charlie, you're Charlie. <laughs> it's a 10-year-old PC. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Isn't a joke, Jim? What? There's more than one chart? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, my reverb's still on this whole time. My bad. I'm gonna turn up the monitoring so I can hear myself. <gasps> yeah, I'm so echoey now. 
And my guitar is way too loud for my little ears. There we go. creaking noise and I really hope it's my chair and not my guitar <laughs> oh it's this thing which I need to tighten don't like this thing. prosthetic lips welcome on in Barnabas nice to see you hey lamp Elvis. and we have three Charlies that seems like a fair amount of Charlies that seems like the regular amount of Charlies actually now I think about it it's my bones it's all Charlie's bones. Oh, why'd I put my guitar away? We're doing Hey There Delilah. Whoa. Whoa. What? It's my kneecaps. <gasps> this just in. Charlie has Zebsy's kneecaps. <laughs> Come back for the 5 p.m. news to find out more. 
Ba-da-da. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? Yellow, yellow. Colin, 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 is it French? Hold on. <laughs> I need to find out if that tea is silent or not, but welcome on in. Look at what is what is that? What is that, Dex? Hamlin Yellow, did you just promise a second stream at 5 p.m.? <laughs> no, that's that's the that's the lamp news channel, completely different from the Twitch channel. <laughs> also, I hope you're having a far a fabulous fabulous Tuesday, Hamlin. Yes, I'm French. Okay, okay. Then it's like call and we call and we. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to f to correct me on that. Wait, I'm a mod. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm a mod. I could just post links. It's code compiling. Oh, oh, I see. Yes, absolutely compiling. <laughs> that also looks like a really great, great comic site. Put that up here. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like? Ooh. This guitar doesn't like it when I play bar chords up this high. You say Colleen. Oh, okay. Wonderful. It's a, it's a bad start. I slept through my alarm, which means I missed an hour of stream. <laughs> you said an alarm for stream? Oh my goodness. I feel so special. I promise to behave so you didn't miss much. That's true. But that's only like a, a 35 to 40% chance that I'm gonna behave, so oh, it's beautiful. Oh thank you. <laughs> it's a little it's a little rusty today, but I think it's I think it'll improve as we go along. Some days some days it comes and goes. Or it's in different shades of itself, which is also okay. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, girl, but tonight you look so pretty, yes you do. Times Square can't shine as bright as you, I swear it's true. What kind of, what kind of pick do I do this? I don't know. Hey there, Delilah, don't you worry about the distance. I'm right there if you get lonely Give this song another listen Close your eyes Listen to my voice, it's my disguise I'm by your side Oh, it's what you do to me Oh, it's what you do to me Oh, it's what you do to me What you do to me Hey there Delilah I know times are getting hard Wait, I think both straight going through no. Okay, hold on, I got this <laughs> Hey there Delilah I know times are getting hard But just believe me Girl, someday I'll pay the bills With this guitar We'll have it good We'll have the life we knew we would my word is good Hey there Delilah, I've got so much left to say If every simple song I wrote to you would take your breath away I'd write them all Even more in love with me you fall We'd have it all Oh, it's what you do to me It's what you do to me. Oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, it's what you do to me. A thousand miles seems pretty far, but they've got planes and trains and cars. I'd walk to you if I had no other way. 
friends would all make fun of us and we'll just slap along because we know that none of them have felt this way. Delilah, I can promise you that by the time that we get through, the world will never ever be the same. And you're to blame. Hey there, Delilah, you'll be good and don't you miss me. Two more years and you'll be done with school And I'll be making history like I do You know it's all because of you We can do whatever we want to Hey there Delilah, here's to you This one's for you Oh, it's what you do to me It's what you do to me. Oh, it's what you do to me. Oh, what you do to me. What you do to me. Ooh, that one's a, a bit of a beast to play up that high on this on this Taylor. Yeah, yeah, you're totally right, Dex. I'm trying to think of that. Um. We do have, do we have some Ed Sheeran songs on here? I'm okay with doing Ed Sheeran song that isn't normally on the list because I do have a couple of Ed Sheeran songs that I can play. I think Photograph would be one of them. Yeah, we could just give it a go and see what happens. Low string on one and three, any other two? Sure, look. What? I don't know. I don't know, it's been so long. <laughs> we have e A team. That's true. There's A team on the list. We can give Photograph a try, I think. That's the one that's like, uh, inside the pocket of your ripped jeans. With ripped jeans. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Photograph. I need to. Because there are a couple of songs that I had from Ed Sheeran that I used for like wedding stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Hold on. We'll give it a go. Sheer. Don't know how to spell Sheeran. <laughs> Love your voice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and thank you for the follow as well. I miss it. Or to the streets of London. Yeah. Lonely. I, uh, when I was, one of the gigs I was playing at the restaurant, we had um, a musician from Australia, really lovely man, and he was one of the very few patrons that were there. And that, and then there's some, some choir members that had come to support me as well. So we had a very cozy little time. And at one point he's like, could I, um, there was a nylon string guitar from that the owner has at the restaurant. And he asked like, could I, you know, kind of improv with you and while I play guitar? And I'm like, heck yeah, you can. So we were jamming out together. And um, I, st I was trying to find songs that they knew. And I tried Streets of London. And it happened to be one of the songs that that everyone at the at the area in the area knew so they all started singing streets of london and i got like so choked up i was like i'm gonna cry but i need to keep singing and playing <laughs> so i'd never been uh i'd never been the one that got that got choked up <laughs> which is so lovely you know and some of my choir members were like harmonizing i'm like oh it sounded so good any nickelback songs <laughs> Nickelback got banned from my channel back in 2018, and it's something that has never, never resurfaced until today. If Sanzi or Albertine was here, they were here, they could tell you, um, tell you the lore on that. It's time to free Nickelback. I don't know why. Like there, at the time, I had a very small song list, and I was taking so many requests in, and. Um, People were picking stuff from all over the place. And as soon as someone said Nickelback, every single person in the chat was like, no, get out of here with that. And then as a result, we just never, we never did Nickelback. <laughs> uh, but there is, I, I'm like kind of indifferent about Nickelback, but there is a song that I like from him. 
called uh everybody wants to be the sisters mister coca-cola roller coaster i can't get the name of it yeah funky little monkey she's a twisted sister everybody wants to be the sisters mister i just like uh, the, the chorus is so catchy <laughs> Me when I'm unsatisfied, very cheap concert. I want my nickel back. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a massive live show, and I'm gonna charge everybody a nickel, and it's gonna suck. Kin Assassin, hello, and Bloka, welcome on in. Nice to see ya. Oh hi. <laughs> that was an adorable emote. Uh I'm good. seen the old man it's not gonna work <laughs> have you seen the old man in the closed down market picking up the paper with his worn out shoes in his eyes you see no pride held loosely at his side yesterday's paper Telling yesterday's news So how can you tell me you're lonely And say for you that the sun don't shine Let me take you by the hand And lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something that make you change your mind Have you seen the old girl who walks the streets of London Dirt in her hair and her clothes in rags She has no time for talking but she keeps right on walking Carrying her home Into the full bags And so how can you tell me You're lonely And say for you that the sun don't shine Let me take you by the hand And lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something That'll make you change your mind and In the all-night cafe At a quarter past eleven Same old man said Looking at the world over the rim of his teacup Each tea lasts an hour and then he wanders on home And so how can you tell me you're lonely And say for you that the sun don't shine let me take you by the hand and lead you through the streets of London I'll show you something that'll make you change your mind Yeah Lovely song you have to charge your phone 95 cents that they give you a dollar and you have to give them a nickel back. Oh, that's fabulous. I love that. <laughs> that's a lovely song. Yeah, I love that song. He's just so gentle and lovely. Ooh, on the bright side. I think I'll do this.
Those voice tablets are pretty good for when you have a particular dry throat. Uh, it's not really helping me today, but normally they're pretty good. Um, but then they kind of make your mouth foam up like you got rabies. So it's like, oh, my vocal cords feel much better. But <laughs> now I feel like a really angry raccoon. Some work stuck with some prayer for Tuesday stream. Oh, no, Zepsy! Do what you gotta do. Tell your boss I said hi. As long as you don't bite or grow out with a drooly mouth. <laughs> yeah. No, I only used to bite as a kid. I don't bite so much anymore. I'm just dreaming. It's already Wednesday. I know, I know. The prosthetic lips. I'm going to TwitchCon this year. So I fly out tomorrow, which means I had to move my stream to today instead. It's a surprise. Surprise Tuesday stream. Blah. six feet tall I met a man of 12 feet tall he towered like a giant in a world that was defiant of his height I said hi as he replied he said listen to these words that I have dreaded my whole life he said you're only as tall as your heart will let you be and you're only as small six feet tall I am a man of six feet tall just looking for some answers in a world that answers none of them at all I'll say hi but not reply to the letters that you write because I found some peace of mind because I'm only as tall as my heart will let me be and I'm only as small Seem. And when the going gets rough and I feel like I may fall, I'll look on the bright side. I'm roughly six feet tall. Ah, I don't normally do that on the piano, but I kind of like it. <laughs> it's got a cute vibe on the piano. No spicy yellow. <laughs> Makes sense. Have fun, Twitch God. I will. Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'll try and keep my Instagram relatively updated as well as uh staying a little more active on the discord channel and whatnot for you guys so you can see you can see all the fun stuff that's going on <gasps> steven sondheim sondheim song requested looking forward to that and we've got photograph like this Grab, I don't know, maybe this, this version. Oh my God, the Taylor got a bonk. Taylor almost never gets a bonk. I can hurt that I know. Me inside the pocket of your I don't know what the pre how the pre-chorus goes though. Hmm. 
It didn't hit your funny bone. That's true. That's true. I did do that a couple of streams ago, and that sucked. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me just let me just hear this really quickly. I'm sure once I once I hear the pre-chorus, that'll be no problem. Uh. Da, 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 da. 1.3 billion views. Oh my god. And hurt um, and get hard. The only thing okay. we keep this love in a photograph. We made these memories for ourselves. Where our eyes never close and our hearts are never broken. Okay, okay, okay. So never closing. Time's forever frozen. Still. Okay, who knows? Again. <laughs> Alright, we'll see what happens. Loving can hurt. Loving can hurt sometimes. But it's the only thing that I know. And when it gets hard. You know it can get hard sometimes And it's the only thing that makes us feel alive I've already forgotten it now We keep this love in a photograph We made these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing Our hearts are never broken Time's forever frozen still So you can keep me Inside the pocket of your ripped jeans Holding me closer till our eyes meet You won't ever be alone Wait for me to come home Loving can heal Loving can mend your soul And it's the only thing that I know I swear it gets easier Remember that with every piece of you That it's the only thing we can take or take with us when we die We keep this love in a photograph We made these memories for ourselves Where our eyes are never closing Our hearts are never broken Time's forever frozen still So you can keep me Inside the pocket of your ripped jeans Holding me closer till our eyes meet you won't ever be alone And if you hurt me That's okay baby, only words bleed Inside these pages you just hold me And I won't ever let you go Wait for me to come home All right, not bad for live learn. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I don't know how the chorus goes. Inside the net. Oh, wait, there's an extra chorus. Hold on. <laughs> Me. Inside the necklace you got when you were 16. Next to your heartbeat, where I should be. Keep it deep within your soul. And if you hurt, that's okay, baby, only words bleed Inside these pages you just hold me And I won't ever let you go <laughs> Something like that Ugh, sorry That was kind of fun though, I should actually add that I should add that on the regular list I just need to figure out a strumming that Or a picking pattern that works for it a bit more ba -da -ba. We'll throw it on there, we'll throw it on there for you Oh, we have said Lisa. Wow, some really good song choices going on today, you guys. 
I'd like some Cat Stevens on a Tuesday. Me some waiter. Uh. Howdy doodle everyone just lurking in the morning week work meeting. Yay, join us. We have a very large group of, of work lurkers today. I hope you're doing well. Caleb, welcome on in. <laughs> Island Dry, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you for the resub. Oh my gosh. And I hope you are doing well. I haven't seen you in a while, I don't think. I hope you are doing okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm hot and I need more water. So I think now is going to be a good time for a quick break. And I'll be back to sing the chops. I'm not using the Pyrex today, so it means I gotta fill it way more times. Pyrex would never do me dirty like that. Pyrex, please sponsor me. <laughs> the day, I'm gonna, day I ever get like a sponsorship from Pyrex is gonna be so funny. Cause it's like such an ongoing joke on the channel now. <laughs> I waited a long time to watch your broadcast again. Oh nay! I'm glad you're here, catching a very odd Tuesday stream. For those of you who are just coming in, I am going to TwitchCon this year, so I'm flying out tomorrow, which means that my Wednesday stream is now earlier. So don't worry, it's not actually Wednesday today. You've got more time to do all the things you need to do with your week. It's only Tuesday. <laughs> Captain, where is the Pyrex? I, don't, I misplaced it. I think it's in the sink or something. And I just didn't feel like doing dishes before stream, so. Real heathen fox, yellow. Heart or heat? I guess we'll never know. I use Pyrex. Man, a, a man of caliber, I see. 
I work almost every Wednesday and Saturday. Oh no, <laughs> it's hard for you to catch my schedule then. Well, we might be changing up the schedule because I am out of, I'm out of classes now for the summer. So it gives me a little more flexibility on stuff. Crowdfunding for Pyrex. Also, Versprot, thank you very much for the follow. And I will put on a five minute break and we will be back. Like the stream needs to fundraise for backup Pyrex. <laughs> so funny. I have, the it's enough, it's enough. You only really ever need one Pyrex. Except I have a one cup Pyrex and I have a two cup Pyrex. So I basically have the full collection. And I'll see you guys in five minutes.
hello we are back i have water i have ice water very fancy very nice i hope everyone had a refreshing five minutes because we're about to get into the chops i'm not muted am i muted <laughs> yeah, I, you little you made me look at that interface how dare you <laughs> I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell Dex on you. <laughs> Dex, he's making me rethink myself. I was literally like, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> We're gonna do the chops at ragtime version this time, if Ken Assassin's okay with it, because I really I enjoyed playing that last time. Fresh set the piece. My phantom power is off as well. <laughs> it's all about the phantom power. I don't have like an audio capture on the intermission or anything, but it's just kind of a habit now to turn off the phantom power if I'm not, you know, if it's like opening scene or um, intermission and stuff. Right, down it. Messing up totally. Not even a question. <laughs> Welcome back, Burberry. Well, I said across the table, listening to your tales. Is that how you were saying? <laughs> Very bad. Kid Assassin. Well, I said across the table, listening to your tales as I chew. As you convince me of a grander, all the things that you before logical and self-assured it's a mask it's not worth knowing cause i know that you ain't got the chops 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 no you think you're good enough you've got nothing to learn and money to burn you'll have it your way which is the only way that's right 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 oh you always sacrifice to the lessers like me who pretend we can't see that you ain't got the jobs it that way always keeps me on my toes <laughs> a berry berry with the on-screen celebration so cute because you ain't got a job 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 
Don't read my chat. <laughs> I'm not reading your chat. I'm only reading you a little bit. A little bit some of the time. Oh, is that true that it needs 20, 10 to 20 seconds to fully go on and off? I do try to hit it early, but you never know. Yeah, Igor, that is my song. That is my little song called The Chops. And actually, I'm thinking about it now. Because we're having so much struggle with doing Take My Heart Through the Telephone with my producer, maybe I could talk to Rolly about, um, about The Chops. Maybe that could be our next release. So we've got Midas, and then Secrets is next. And uh, The Chops, we could just do so much fun stuff with it. Yeah, the thing is with this song, you could kind of go in a variety of different ways. The first time I tried to arrange it, it had more of this pop beat. Um, I was a little more, I don't know, like, what's, what's her name? Tessa, who does Crush? It was a little more like Crush. Uh, then it went into like a full blues version. And now I'm like, nah, it doesn't really suit the full ver blues version. I'd like it to kind of go somewhere in the middle. And then we discovered that it's really fun to put into swing. So I was like, oh, maybe I should do a swing like rendition as a as a formal release so i don't know I'm, I'm really curious to get his take on it though you can hear it in your own monitoring oh i see it takes some get time it'll get louder i see it tessa violet thank you hamlin that's it i want to tell you you forgot her name please don't <laughs> please no <laughs> is that her real legal name by the way because tessa violet sounds so cool if that's someone's legal name instead of a pen name that's pretty funky Chops is not just a genre. <laughs> I still think rock is the way to go. Rock would be really fun. Yeah, I, I, we did like a, a small C kind of blues version of it, and it kind of took the energy down in the song. And because I'm not a really strong singer when it comes to rock or blues and, and whatnot, I want this song to have punch. And as soon as the arrangement doesn't kind of help support that, then the whole thing goes down because I can't really yell that song very, very well. Uh, it's very much in my chest voice, so I can only go so hard, which means that I need the arrangement to go more and create more of that drive and energy in the song, if that makes sense. Secrets is the same way. You're going to hear, like, I have a pretty light voice throughout it. I'd love to be able to belt it. I work a lot with my voice teacher on creating more of a stronger pop sound in my in my voice instead of the classical way that I was trained originally. And... Um, but it's it's the whole instrumentation together that really brings it together. Like we have distorted guitar, we have live drums, and that really helps. <laughs> People get so turnt when I don't have the Pyrex. We have Happy Sloth Mug today, because I think my Pyrex is somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's around. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, John killed it john did such a cool ver i was so honored i was so honored that he played my song it was so cool and he had all the layering and all the instrumentation and stuff still swing with the electric guitars that would also be cool that's the thing like i i don't i i'm totally like how do i say this not that I'm against specific genres in songs, obviously, but a lot of the songs that I make are a bit of a hybrid of multiple things. Like Midas is kind of Adele, like people reference Midas to um, like a James Bond feel or an Adele feel, uh, but I have it kind of more as a Billie Eilish mix vocally. And then there's Secrets, which is a little bit Fleetwood Mac, a little bit The Last Dinner Party, kind of this style and then chops is just gonna also be another fusion piece a little bit of rock we could swing it we could absolutely have some distorted guitars or something like that in there uh i really would love live live drums with it as well i think it's going to be another song where having live drummer is really important she started on youtube as mika kitty oh no way huh wait what my best belt is in chest yeah that, but you're a dude <laughs> And also, yeah, chest voice is, is great for belting. It's just that I have never really been trained to use my chest voice. I've always been trained to use the top like head voice area because I was a classically trained soprano. So my voice was more for classical pieces and choir pieces. And it's only recently, as well with pop sound, you want it right in your nose, almost nasally, almost kind of mean. My teacher and I work a lot on um, ugly sounds. She's like, make it really ugly and make it really twangy because if we go all the way, then you can pull it back a bit. So instead of going from here and having the resonation on the top of your head, you have it a lot more forward and the, the, vo the vowel sounds really forward in your face. So it's just a different technique. 
Um, I think it, it adds a lot, though, to some songs. Yeah, the song. I also love the song. Even though we have the, the Pyrex people in here. <laughs> the Pyrex will be back, I promise. I think your neighbor upstairs stole it and tried to get you to stop streaming. <laughs> how dare he? How dare he steal my Pyrex? Well, he's gonna have a week with no no interference, so I'm sure he'll like that. Pyrex of the Caribbean, no way. Do you do the witchy haha? -ha? Oh no, I don't I don't know the laugh. It is like a laugh technique. We do um, we do a lot of slides and I'm trying to think of how she gets me to do that sound. Oh, a lot of yelling. Cause I'm not a I'm not a yeller. I don't yell ever in my life. Like even if something really awful happens, I will not respond by yelling. It's just not what I do, and it's just not something that comes to me naturally. So a lot of what we do in class is just getting my volume up and actually getting comfortable yelling because when it comes to those like bluesy riffs and um and and scat you know with like jazz improv and scat and stuff like that it, a lot of it's really yelly so i just need to change that <laughs> change that sound that's the hardest part because i just go red in the face and i don't want to make any noise and she's like yell like yell like there's a child running into going into traffic and you need to warn them or they're gonna like you gotta yell and i'm like ah. <laughs> no stop please Stop. I'm like I, I, I'm like the Gene Wilder version of Willy Wonka, right? Where the kid's going up the chocolate chute, and he's like, "Oh no, no, stop! Don't do it." <laughs> That's <laughs> I can't yell, man. <laughs> Singing metal, I know, but I could never. They just take their kneecaps. What am I gonna do with all, all those kneecaps? It's not a big business. Not while I'm around. is take their kneecaps <laughs> joey welcome on in no no it's very literal it's unfortunately very literal i don't know what i don't know when it became taking kneecaps though it used to just be busting kneecaps from the pumpamoose song i'm like that too yay can this ass it <laughs> yeah i just don't i i never grew up yelling i just don't it's not in my vocabulary really i'm trying to think of a situation where i would yell I mean, for the, okay, if I'm hiking the dogs, I'll yell the dogs' names, right? Especially if there's like cattle around or there's deer and they take off after the deer, then you're yelling after them. But even then, it's, it's uh, <laughs> there's my yelling and then there's a regular person's yelling and it's not, I'm still quite under. Anyways, I prefer to whistle anyways. They're sheep dogs. They respond really, really, really well to whistling. No cap. Hike, hike, hike. I do love a hike. Actually, I so my neighbors took my, my, my neighbor took my carnivorous plants because she's gonna look after them while I'm away. And we were chatting and she was showing me pictures from her trip and she's, there's so many beautiful places around Austria that's like even just an hour or two away from Vienna that have the most beautiful, beautiful hiking trails. So she gave me some, uh, a list of towns and areas to go hiking and I'd love to do it. shaped like just dogs do dogs but dog shaped dogs those are normally my favorite types of dogs are the ones that are shaped like dogs actually that's not true loaf dogs are adorable yeah yeah heaven's got it the hills are alive that's only out in salzburg not in vienna <laughs> hills are not alive here Nothing's gonna harm you, not while I'm around. Nothing's gonna harm you, no sir, not while I'm around. Demons are prowling everywhere nowadays. I'll send them how.
nothing can harm you, not while I'm around. Don't trust the high notes today. I think I think that's all because then it goes into the, a little bit of like um, the other version. I don't know if I can do the key change today. It's a tricky song for me to do today, but I love it. I love Stephen Sondheim, so thank you, guest, for requesting it. Uh, you about a microphone trying to record it. it sounds awful. Any tips? Uh, I, I would not be the person to ask about that. I had a lot of help from my mods with it. Um, the Rode microphone is really the least of your worries. It's more whatever, pro, whatever DAW you're using and whatever uh, audio interface you're using. I have a Scarlett Focusrite, and that works quite well. That's that's my go-to. A dino cup for his birthday. His dad actually broke it on day one. No, it's so tragic. Tis squishy yellow. I woke up as a, I, I, grew, I woke up. I grew up as a middle child of three boys. I learned how to yell. Oh my gosh. One hundred and ten decibels. Oh my god. <laughs> that's atrocious. That is very loud but I use Audacity. Oh, okay, I have not very much experience with Audacity. I did like one or two very small recordings before I was even streaming with Audacity. I use Ableton Live and that one seems to be quite good, quite good. For producing stuff, I use Logic Pro now, but I still keep Ableton for streaming because it's just fabulous that way. Don't just free ear. <laughs> True, Joey, but I don't have my ears pierced, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, oh my god, we're doing Royals Abridged. <laughs> Hold on, I think... Day's notion to record this one? I think so, yeah. Ear piercing stream. Ah! Every time I think I'm gonna I'm gonna pierce my ears, I get ear related nightmares for like two or three days, and then I decide no, that's not for me. I don't know why. I just never. I'd be more into getting a tattoo than I would be for piercing my ears. Plus, I have headphones on all the time. I feel like it would suck. I used to use um eyeliner i used to draw my ears with eyeliner and people thought i had like little ear tattoos they have forever 21 in austria i don't think so <laughs> we do have claire's though which is horrifying I, I if i was ever gonna get my ears pierced i'd go to a tattoo parlor and not go to like a forever 21 thing you think <laughs> i go to a professional tattooist Everybody's like fancy stuff and valuable things and blah 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 excessive spending. We don't care. We're from a shitty town and we're poor. There you go. That's Royals of Bridge for you. <laughs> and we've got ABBA, my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I know I'll be here all, all night. <laughs> Get an earring tattoo. That'd be fun. I feel like they don't wear well, though. I've seen a couple of earring tat tattoos, and they, they blur. I feel like they get very blurry after many years, instead of, like, on other parts of your body. Oh, nice. No, no it was a hyperbole. It was just a saying, Dex. No. <laughs> with aluminum foil? What a tattoo with aluminum foil? What is this? That's not a thing. I go to Valentine. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. I um, yeah, I'm gonna be in the studio later today, and then I think I'm teaching. I don't know. My student texted me and over the weekend, and she's like, "I think I'm gonna take the summer off of classes." And I said, "That's a really good idea. Why would you 
why would you be in classes? <laughs> but she's starting university in the fall, so she's going to be very busy. I'm like, you should just take the summer off while well, you can. Weird Al has a royals party called Foil. Oh, <laughs> and I'll never be foil. That's awesome. Across my body, I blurred it happens. I see, I see. A lot of my friends have um, have great tattoos. I see my friend actually just got her other shoulder done. She has a bouquet of flowers on this side and she got some more flowers of, I don't remember which kind, on her other side. And this looks so nice. Which musician turning down teaching time? <laughs> well, I don't get paid that much for teaching and I also have three other jobs, so. <laughs> so teaching's more of, teaching is as much for me as it is for the student because I just like keeping up on theory and ear training and stuff. Also, what my my summer free to do is more music stuff. More music stuff. I want my own face tattooed on me. <laughs> That's a power move. I don't know what kind of power move, but it is. My teaching is expensive. How how long are your lessons though? Are they like an hour? I normally teach for thirty minutes, unless it's uh, there's exceptions. Sometimes I'll do forty five minutes, but often. For example, for sight singing, if you do more than 30 minutes, it's just exhausting for a student. Officially 30 minutes. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I might be expensive. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I normally charge like tw 25 bucks for 30 minutes. And f yeah, and 45 for an hour. That's wrong the super prof tells you the price range of, of the people in your area so you know how much other teachers are charging and you can kind of like guess by then so but also it depends on what you're doing so like if it's just sight reading stuff or um my teacher get on really well we do exercises for 45 to 60 minutes oh man yeah like my my voice teacher she's an hour so she's obviously much more and if you need to warm up and stuff, then that needs to go in the lesson. With what I do with sight singing is sight singing in theory. Now with theory, I would recommend students have 45 minutes because you just need to explain the concept more. But with sight singing, it's just practice stuff. Same with ear training and whatnot. It's all practice stuff. So you don't need that long. And after, after 30 minutes, I find that students, depending on their level, they're less likely to retain the information because they, it just it burns a lot of brain cells if you're focusing all the time. So you wouldn't want to do more than, you wouldn't want to do more than an hour. And an hour, over an hour is like redundant for, for sight singing and stuff. You're better off to do like a little bit every day or something. Theory takes a little bit more. And then of course lessons, you know, less, instrument lessons take more time. You wouldn't want a 30 minute instrument lesson. That's awful. I have a 30 minute uh, piano lesson because I'm like a piano secondary for my university and you have no time to do anything. That, yeah, that strikes me as normal for, um, uh, Waterwicks, welcome on in. Oh, Al says hello. Uh, that strikes me as normal for teaching. Yeah. F 50 or more for instruments, at least, and stuff like that. Because I know, I know my music dad, he, I think he, his hours altered if he was doing theory or, or history. He would charge a little less, but the, the instrument classes themselves are a little more. Posties, ideally? I don't know this song. I don't know it. You should post it in the Discord. I'm curious. <laughs> Messing my brain up. <laughs> Lyrics in Italian. <laughs> That's true. Then you have to learn Italian diction as well. Like for me, with, with, choir, with choir and also with classical singing, I've had to sing in, in German, Italian, French, Germanic Latin, and Italianate Latin. And sometimes we do Spanish songs. The Spanish songs I struggle with still. Besame mucho. But you get used to the, the diction eventually. It, it was normal for, like, if you're doing classical voice, it was normal to, that you needed to do at least two languages, depending on the level. It, the first hit is Pavarotti. I've only, been, I've only been learning like 12 weeks. You got this. You can do this. 
it's not it's not too bad once you get the once you recognize the the letters because it's not like you're learning the language you're actually just learning the the diction for the language which is a little bit different so it's not too much oh i had i had this song up well i'm watching the late show in my flat all alone how i hate to spend the evening on my own going outside the window as i look around the room and it makes me so depressed to see the gloom there's not a soul out there song a little bit <laughs> how do you channel the emotions if you don't know what it means oh you need to know what it means you need to yeah you need to know what it means hey word hello welcome on in but you can just google translate it <laughs> or know the context like if you know if you're learning a piece from an opera then just find out what character are you singing what just happened to them what are they what are they singing about and then how would they feel about it and then you just go back to learning the diction I have to start my day. Have fun, TushCon. Bye, Hamlin. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for saying hi. It's a song about lasagna. There's nothing more tragic than songs about lasagna. Heck yeah. Da, da. Give me, give me, give me a man after midnight. Let's do... Ooh. That one could be fun. I don't think I've done this one very often on the channel. Nope. Ooh, it's not even on the list. Okay. Bye. Who's a bye? Yay. I spelled that wrong. Like this. Strumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words Killing me softly
for tragic lasagna. <laughs> Don't cry for me, oh lasagna. <laughs> so silly. water again. Ugh. Pyrex never do me like that. I'm waiting for my page to load. Okay. i songs about in a different emotion to the way it's intended. That'd be hilarious. It'd be hilarious to do it like just in a regular song in English. Uh, which version do I want? This one. This one. Which one? Um, do you ever sing in other languages? Yeah, I have a couple of German songs on the list. And uh, I used to sing in French a bit mostly for tests and stuff not not very not normally um and then i sing i'm in a choir so i sing a lot in, in german and our teacher is from mexico so sometimes he brings in spanish songs as well do you study in german english I, it depends it depends <laughs> um with history because I don't really, I took a lot of history growing up. I took a lot of history exams. So a lot of it's review for me. And so I just I just study a week or two before the exam. And in order to do that, I translate it to English because I just need to get through a whole lot of material really quickly. But I've taken I've taken like theory lessons in German and I've taken um, Hauptfach, like uh, major lessons in German. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. It just takes a little more time. I got to put a little more work into it. <laughs> da, da, da. I sense there's something in the wind that feels like tragedy.
besser waren. Tell me to stop. Oh no, Bear Bear, go for it. If you're not doing it, Zebsy normally does. He just makes sure there's a couple songs on the list. <laughs> Why is it taking so long now? It's so silly. My iPad's like taking a while to load, but it doesn't normally. Arathar, welcome on in. Uh, where is, where is this song? Hmm. What if we look up? There we go. listen to that one again because <laughs> some of the some of the syntax I'm like how does he fit all those words into that sentence again it's been a while oh into white very interesting oh thanks for right <laughs> I know there's like a couple of riffs on that one but I don't remember how they go Here, keep this in the original key. Paperwood, window 
remember what the what this version doesn't have the what what type of e chord it, it ends on but it should be like um Cat Stevens song is something that I only discovered not that long ago, considering I know a fair amount of Cat Stevens songs. But it's very cool, very wild, very wild lyrics, that one. I gotta take off now. Bye, this for next meeting needs me talking. Oh no, thanks for the work, Lyric. Tunes and have fun at Twitch. Can't see you around. Bye, I hope to see you again. Good luck with your your meeting. You got this. <laughs> and we'll see you whenever I'm around next. Should be next Saturday, I believe. Who hath put an over the song limit on here? What nonsense. Uh, oh my god, we're doing Chelsea Dagger. Woo. Chelsea Dagger. Chelsea Dagger. Chelsea Dagger. Chelsea Dagger. I just kept adding songs. <laughs> doing Chelsea Dagger. Bow. I want to do this one on guitar, I think so. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da 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 Well, you like my hotel. It's a little low, okay. I requested then, saw request closed. No, 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 that's not you. You don't worry, you're good, Captain Sunbeam. <laughs> Said to just put another song in after you, because he didn't realize that we were already at the we're at, we're at the at the limit, which is cool. I uh, I had good timing today. I wasn't too chatty. I was chatty just just the right amount. <laughs> I was worried that we weren't gonna get through all of them because I was talking. Da -da -da, da -da. She said, you know me well. I've seen you and little Steven and Joanna around the back of my hotel. Oh, yeah. Someone said he was asking after me, but I know your best is a blagger. I said, tell me your name, is it sweet? She said, my boy, it's Dagger. Oh, yeah. I was good, she was hard, giving everything she's got. It was bold, she was over the worst of it. Gave me gear, thank you dear, bring your sister over here Let her dance with me just for the hell of it Well, you must be a boy with bones like that She said you got me wrong I would have sold them to you if I just kept the last of my clothes on Oh yeah Call me up, take me down with you when you go I could be a regular bell and I'll dance for little Steven and Joanna around the back of my hotel. Oh, yeah. I was good, she was hot, stealing everything she's got. I was bold, she was over the worst of it. Gave me gear, thank you.
take you, dear. Bring your sister over here. Let her dance with me just for the hell of it. Chelsea, Chelsea, I believe when you're dancing slowly, sucking your sleeve. <laughs> Missed it there a little bit. That was fun though. Uh, I left it to you since it's nice when people request songs. Yeah, it's always better when when uh, non mods request songs, just cause you know, just cause. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Just for the halibut. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. What the heck? I love that. Also, Valerie, thank you so much for the follow. Yeah. And uh, I think that's us for today. Yeah, that's us. That sounded just like. That sounded just like a Zelda sound effect. Oh my god, it is! That's from Breath of the Wild, and I can't think of what happens when that happens. I love it! I found it! Oh my gosh! Oh, it makes me so happy. TwitchCon, TwitchCon, Macko, hey, welcome on in! For those of you who aren't following Macko plays, he's a really, really fun uh, multi... We call him multi-genre streamer, when you sing and you do other stuff as well. <laughs> Please, uh, please send him a follow. Uh, hire, hire her Koji. What does that? Even, what does that even mean? But also, are you gonna be at TwitchCon? I'm going to TwitchCon. Everyone, everyone, come on! Everyone, get in the car. We're going to TwitchCon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Matu sounds good. What do you do, Matu? Let me see who's. Uh... I'm gonna get this so stuck in my head now. <laughs> uh. As well. So I left the Google map. Is he singing though? Oh, yeah, he's got the guitar. Very nice. Kondo Zelda composer. Oh, oh, Kanji. Kondo. Okay, okay, now I know. Oh, I love that. Oh, it makes me want to play Breath of the Wild now. Ah. <laughs> Mostly the Sunday. Awesome. Well, I will see you there then. I uh, I'm going to the, the I have the two day ticket and then I'm also going to the um, music after party thing. See if I could put my name on one of the open mic slots or something. I don't have the energy. Oh no, Dermo. That's okay. We will we will have a beer for you. We will party for you. <laughs> if you can play, I'll sing lots of junk. As kiss every day. Wait, A C N A H. What is that? Sorry, I can't get over. <laughs> I can't get over the sound effect. Just stumbled upon it. Animal Crossing. Oh, I don't have Animal Crossing. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I've played Harvest Moon, and that's the closest I can think of for being close to Animal Crossing. I do. I played Harvest Moon on the on the Game Boy SP, so it was a while ago. Let's see if I can get some Animal Crossing. <laughs> if I can get it, I have a couple of I have a couple of games that I want to buy for Switch. Uh, the Kirby the Kirby games are really fun. They bring me back because I, I at least play a whole lot of Kirby games, and uh, and the, I guess I should get on the. Tears of the Kingdom because I'm super behind on that one, but I, I really wanted to finish Breath of the Wild first and I just haven't had time. I'm getting a laptop in the mail today. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. Black Ops 3 custom zombie maps. That sounds awesome. That sounds very awesome. I think I actually have Black Ops, but I don't think I've installed it. 
I think I got it on a Steam sale or something and they never actually installed it. If there's anything I could do that would help you, let me know. But I don't know how you energy. Yeah. Too many games, not enough time. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. But we'll find something when I'm back because I do want to pick up some gaming streams just for fun. Um, trying to think of what we could play. But I can also get the... What do you call it? We can play Switch games as well. It doesn't have to be PC. I can hook up the Switch. It's not like when we were kids and you got one day on your birthday and one at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'm sure if I told my mom I wanted a, a video game for my birthday, she'd probably get one for me. Because she doesn't really know what to get me a lot of the time. Well, that's not true. She's She stumbles across things that she knows I'd like. We have, we're very good at picking gifts for each other because we know each other's taste very well. My my grandparents got me Amnesia the Dark Descent on the, on the CD, CD version. That was awesome. I wish I could find more fun games. A Hat in Time is pretty fun. I haven't heard of A Hat in Time. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what I've been playing. I'm still really into playing Lethal Company with friends. That's still like my main multiplayer go-to right now. But oh, one of my friends got Armello and the other one's waiting for Armello to go on sale. So that'll be really fun because we had a really good time playing that. But for me, I'm trying to think of what I, I don't know. I haven't played Switch in so long, it feels like. Where can I find your music? Uh, I have a single out on Spotify. A little slow bringing things around right now. Oh, but I also have a bunch of music videos uh, of acoustic versions of me on YouTube. So if you want to follow my YouTube channel, at also the only street lamp. Um, yeah, I got some music videos on there. And I am releasing a single next week. And then I have another single on the way. So that soon there will be more stuff on my Spotify. That's the thing. That's the thing. And my, my producer asked if um, if I wanted to wait if I wanted to hold off on releasing stuff and, and see if I could get a label's attention first. And I was like, ah, oh, that's not worth it. It's not worth it. I just want to get music out, you know? I don't want to, like, wait and make a portfolio because, and like, because they'll want to publish it, right? If you sign with a label, they'll want to publish the stuff. I'm like, nah. Nah. I'd rather make less money and have, like, my songs out there than be hoarding all these really wonderfully produced songs waiting for someone to sign a contract with me. So, kind of goopy. Of all the games, Fortnite is a great unifier. Oh yeah, there's Fortnite. And for the only lamps, there will be members content coming out there soon. If you want to get some behind the scenes stuff or early access content or life vlogs and, and whatnot, um, I do post stuff on there. And I will get better posting stuff on there over the summer. So yeah. This, this. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fabulous rest of your Tuesday. I don't miss you guys till I get back. I believe on the schedule, the schedule is updated now on the channel. So I'll be back on Saturday, which I think is July 5th? July 5th or 6th? First week of July. Yeah, and for those of you who, who are going to TwitchCon, come say hi. I'm very excited. Do you remember how to do this even? Heck yeah, I do. And we're gonna go to Matu. What's he up to? Oh man, he's rocking out on the guitar. Okay, fabulous. Da -da 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 -da. Proud of you. Why does it say proud of you? <laughs> proud. Yeah, oh, everyone, please uh, thank you, Dex, for reminding me. Please uh, copy the raid. Come in so we can make it look cool. Ah, which my mouse isn't letting me get, 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 look at this, fabulous, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me, enjoy that time with you on the screen, I will, I'll try, I always like have a hard time remembering to film stuff when I'm in, you know, in it, doing stuff, so I will, I will try to do it, and then when I get back home, then I have all this footage I can go through, and it's just really nice. Little attention that I paid during work pays off. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I realized that you're work you're working right now, so I I did the raid because I was like, oh dang, he's actually probably busy. Um, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you later next time. Goodbye.